I don't think that TikTok's going to end up going anywhere. But just in case, if you're following us on TikTok, make sure you follow us on all our other social media platforms, just as a precaution. At The Cigar Guys, Twitter, Instagram, all that jazz. LinkedIn, for you business people. We want to know every time you get promoted, every time you get a raise. Congratulations. Awesome. You are tuning in to the Cigar Guys podcast, where aficionados and newcomers alike gather to explore the vast cigar universe. Meet your host, Alexander Gonzalez, Mark Nikolai, his big little brother, Zachary Nikolai, and Jared Burroughs. So sit back, light up, and let's get the conversation started. Welcome back to another episode of The Cigar Guys. Today is a very special day. It is our St. Patrick's Day special. So you know we're drinking whiskey. We should be drinking scotch. Thank you, Zach. That's exactly what I was going to say. Pass the monkey shoulder, bro. A a scotch is a type of whiskey. Yes, but a bourbon is a type of whiskey also, so it could have been very vague. Why why don't we have Irish whiskey? The joke was supposed to be, it's St. Patrick's Day. There's only one thing you're supposed to smoke or drink on St. Patrick's Day, and that's scotch. That was the joke. What about Irish whiskey? But you ruined it. That's not funny. Yeah, but it's like... Did you bring Jameson this time? A little little J-Mo? We should have brought a little uh, J-Mo. See, little J-Mo? Irish whiskey would make sense. Therefore, it's not funny. So why is... So, what? You got it, right, Zach? We, we, we all got it. I don't it. know. <laughs> you made the joke. Did we celebrate, yeah, I didn't know did we celebrate this last year? I don't remember Where us doing Where is Scotch this. from? Scotland. What is St. Patrick's Day from? Ireland. Ireland. Okay. Oh. What were you saying, Jerry? Queen took over did we, Ireland. <laughs> I think this one's a little rough because we didn't film one last year. Did we film one last year for St. Patrick's Day? I don't think we did. No, I don't no, think we did. Uh, no, um, I, that's mm, why he didn't get the joke. I was too busy getting fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, We're smoking green cigars. I, some of us, most of us. I'm smoking. Hey, he's like, are you are you okay? He just broke that glass. What, why, you actually? why are you laughing? He chipped the glass. Oh my god. I, w- I wouldn't even drink that. I feel like our introductions are getting more and more chaotic. Oh it has God. the Albanian flag on there. T- I mean, eagle on there too. Why'd you do that? Actually, I'm gonna be. <laughs> you think I'm meant to do this? So anyway, you're can you not still drink see out it? Of it's it? glass. <laughs> <laughs> somebody, somebody else take this. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you need any. Use it as a weapon. What are you doing? Can you pour me some? <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> Funny Zach. Funny, uh, oh my god, my god. Okay, so uh Wow. It's St. Patrick's Day. Green's the color or something like that. Mark, what are you smoking? I'm smoking a uh Corona Cigar Company cigar. This is a double Corona Candela. Wow. Interesting. It's got it's, I picked it because it's got a green wrapper. Oh, I get it. What are you smoking, Jared? Actually, I don't know. Shocker. Aldino, Julio. Our Aurora. Can you Aurora? tell me the color of that wrapper? I believe it's green. Jared wouldn't know because he's colorblind. He was told it was green. But am I right, though? Well, you are, yeah. Okay, but mom. He said, someone pick out the green one. What are you smoking? I am smoking the Villager TAA exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, is never, that will never not be funny. Interesting. Uh, this is a 2023 edition. Mm. Um... Mm. It's not a green cigar, but it's got a green band on it. Mm. So I'll take it. Uh, and back to you. What I you think smoking? I win this one. It's called the Shamrock Filthy Hooligan by Alec Bradley. It's got a three leaf clover. Hmm, they should have went with a four leaf clover. Uh. But uh, it's got it's a barber pole of Candela, Connecticut, and either a, I don't know, probably Habana or something like that. Uh, but very St. Patrick's Day themed, so I'm going to light this up. Apparently, everyone's been smoking this, so I figured one of us should hop on the bandwagon and smoke it in honor of St. Patrick's Day. You said everyone's been smoking it? We only, we only bought one. 
I, I can see the glass in there. <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about? Zach was looking at the... No, not you, Jared. You, you said everyone's smoking it. Who's everyone? Can you name them all? Uh, no. Yeah, Alex. Uh, I'm sure some guy named Jerry out there is smoking it. Uh, <laughs> Connor McGregor. Uh, I lost my train of thought. But Pro- Probably some Irish guy. Since tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day, technically, when you're watching this. Um, what events do we got going on? I want to start with that first. I know that there's going to be a... S- oh, never mind. I was going to say there's a St. Patrick's Day event going on in New Smyrna, but that's technically Friday, so too bad by the time you're watching this. Um, I don't know what else is going on. Do you know what's going on for St. Patrick's Day uh, as far as events Church. Go? Church. St. <laughs> Patrick <laughs> used to be a bishop and later became a saint. So I will be attending Mass. Good. Drinking it up there? Well, some wine, uh, probably. Some body and blood of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I think there's a... Uh, isn't Grafton doing something? Yeah, after church, Grafton is doing a St. Patrick's <laughs> Day party. <laughs> I don't know what time it is. It's in Lake Mary. I just got an email for that before I came here. I legit almost put this lit end in my mouth. I'm sure Stanford's doing something. Yeah, you got stuff going on. I feel like, I don't know, maybe just because we're getting older now, but I feel like more people used to go out on St. Patrick's Day. Well, definitely. There also used to be a lot more events in our area. Mm. Yeah, that's true. We used to have the uh, block party between Dexter's and Liam's. Too many people have been getting murked, let's be honest. Yeah. Especially in downtown Orlando. Yeah, I don't fuck with downtown Orlando anymore. We don't do that. Shout out to Cigar Hustler for hosting the Besa Cigar Cut and Light last night. Great event. If you weren't there, you missed out. But you can go get Besa Cigars at Cigar Hustler all the time, any day of the week, as long as they're open. So go check out Cigar Hustler Deltona. Pick up some Besa Cigars. Tell them the Cigar Guys sent you. Anyway. And make sure you look at our Instagram and find out who won the watch. True. We gave away a watch last night. To one lucky winner, but you got to go to our Instagram at the Cigar Guys and see what's up. See who won. If it was you, congratulations. If it wasn't you, next time, be on the lookout for our next giveaway. It's a pretty cool watch, too. It is. It is very cool. Very uh, tactical. <laughs> I, I guess. Pretty tactical. It's of the tactical origin, <laughs> you may say. The, what's the name of the watch company? Uh, Ballast. Ballast? Ballast? Oh, okay. I don't know how it's pronounced, but... Ballast? Ballast. That sounds good. That does sound good, I like yeah. that. Let's go with that. Let's say ballast. <laughs> Ballaste. What do you think? It's French or something? Ballast. This guy goes to France one time. <laughs> Dude, I'm never going back. <laughs> I, I'm never going back to Paris. Let's be specific. I don't care. I'll fly into any airport that's not the Paris airport. Was it bad? Like, what was bad about it? If you watch the podcast... I was going to say, we definitely story. talked about this. Um, actually, it wasn't our podcast. It was another podcast, but... Mm, this is true. This was the Cigar Hustler podcast. Wow. Okay, yeah, enough shout sure, I'm pretty sure we talked about it on our podcast. Too. Pretty sure we did. Uh, I got short-term memory. I think you and Jared... No, you have short-term memory. Jared just doesn't listen. What do you mean? I, what? <laughs> My point exactly. What? Can you, Jared, say, can you repeat that? <laughs> <laughs> we'll be interviewing someone... It. We'll be interviewing someone, and then he'll we'll, we'll ask and answer a question, and then five minutes later, Jared's like, "Yeah, so anyway," and he'll say the same exact question again. True story. You show me that clip, and I'll believe you. I will after this. Sounds good. <laughs> so another shout out to uh, Besa Cigars. Uh, I hear they're starting pre-orders on their Maduro. Are they? They will be. Uh, do we know anything about this alleged Maduro that's being? released uh it's gonna be fantastic it's coming from base of cigar so yeah that's true that's true yeah, yeah any details though on the record no off oh. the record it's a nice full-bodied smoke hmm yeah that's it that's it that's san all. andreas wrapper oh okay yo you weren't supposed to say that part it's on the website bro make sure you go check it out <laughs> Basiscigar.com, Mexican San Andreas wrapper, 
with a Sumatra binder and the filler is of Nicaraguan and Dominican origin, but the filler has been finagled with been to all, give you altered. a absolute full body experience. And when I mean full body, I don't mean this is a full body cigar. I mean, holy cow. I, wouldn't, I don't know about holy cow. Maybe for you, but... Compared to a lot of full body cigars, yes. I mean, like, it's pretty full body, yeah, but is it, like, the fullest of bodies? No, it's not the fullest of bodies, because if it was, it'd be disgusting. But like, we've like given it... it, it, it it's not, like, if it was a person, it wouldn't be, like, obese, obese, but it would be, like, <laughs> pretty fat, you know? Like, full body. All I'm saying is we've given it to people who smoke full body cigars regularly, and they've said that this is definitely a little bit... Oh, for sure, for up. sure, yeah. Okay, there you go. Glad we can all agree on something. Yeah. Not for Jared, though. Jared's a different animal. Jared dips his cigars in nicotine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, They're like nicotine liquid or whatever. The, <laughs> nicotine extract. I believe it. That's Jared. the only way he can smoke the original base of cigar. Uh-huh. <laughs> Basically, I chew on Zens while smoking full body to really dark. He wakes up in the morning, Maduro's. pops his in, and then he spits it all, all the saliva he spits into a bottle. And then he uses that <laughs> to put on his cigars. Ew. All on an empty stomach while drinking coffee. After fasting for 14 days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah man. This Pretty is actually accurate. one of life's great mysteries is how does Jared not eat for two plus weeks and still smoke like three to five cigars a day? I don't think I could do it. I, I think once your body gets used to it. I don't know. I don't know. That's tough. I mean, I, I skip a meal and smoke and I'm like struggling, especially if it's a full body cigar. Yeah, that's most people, I would I would think. Yeah, I mean, I smoke a, if, I, if I smoke a, like a Connecticut without uh, eating, I'm fine in the morning. Well, yeah, but a Connecticut, you know, I mean, it's like that's like smelling a full body cigar. Smoking <laughs> cigar you know I mean? <laughs> yeah, that's true. You get a whiff of a full body cigar. You're like, oh, I'm buzzed. How do you like that cigar, Jared? I, uh, <laughs> um, I don't know. Tastes weird. Very light. Ash is pretty nice, though. Does it taste like grass? Uh, or ass. I, I would say <laughs> the leaf that we smoked last week was way worse, but... Really? Yeah, this Usually is, this leaf makes some good stuff. The cigar or the actual leaf? <laughs> I didn't smoke the leaf. Oh. That's unfortunate. What do you think of yours? You know, it's actually, it's not the worst thing I've smoked. Really? Yeah. You got a long way to go, too. Not the best, not the worst. Okay, okay. That makes <clears> sense. <throat> what about you, the only guy who's not smoking anything related to a Candela? I respect myself too much to do that. Um, uh, this is let's actually go really back good. to episode number, I don't remember the episode, but the one that they delete off YouTube. Never mind. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah, oh, exactly. That's why I it's thought. It's on Spotify. Uh-huh. Ultimate guide to cigar rappers. This is this is actually pretty and good. And we though. have it locally. But yeah. yeah. This is pretty good. I like it. Yeah, it's good smoke. It's nice. I'd say like I don't know, medium. Mm. Medium what, body. What's the name of it again? It's a Villager uh TWA exclusive. Nice. Yeah. Mine's- Not to be confused with TWA. T double A uh, or kind of like triple A. Oh, yeah. Isn't it W? Never mind. It's it's two double U's. U. Yeah, it's double U's. Yeah. Depends on how you write it. Well, it could be double. It V's. could be double V. Yeah. Why is it not a double V? Because traditionally, the way it was written. Mm. I think I don't know. I was making it up. I mean, that might make sense actually. Cursive. You guys ever seen Russian cursive? Isn't it just Russian? No, what? <laughs> yeah, it looks like just like yeah, a it, bunch of M's and N's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like I don't, I don't know how they tell the difference. I don't know. How's your cigar? Uh, considering it's only thirty three percent candela, it's actually not bad. Mm. It's can definitely. You, can uh, you taste the candela, or is it like kind of masked? Um, I, I mean, I don't know. Let's see. I don't really taste candela. It tastes more like a... Um, a bottle? It, a I think it tastes mostly like a Connecticut. Mm. As of right now. Uh, it's definitely got some spice on the retro, though. It's, it's, it's a, I'd say it's medium medium plus, maybe. Really? It's super light body. Yeah. Yeah. But tastes good. 
I'll get into the flavors in a little bit. But uh, Jared's Candela seems to be smoking pretty well, though. I feel like usually, like... Well, I mean, they make great cigars. Like, the quality's good. They're strong wrappers, so... Uh, Flavor, yeah, actually, yeah. I feel like they're not as brittle as other wrappers. Well, they're not as, like, ripe as most other wrappers, if that makes sense. Obviously, you know, so they're probably a little stronger. I smoked this other cigar the other day, and I... It was, like, a random stick in my humidor and no band or anything. I thought it was broken. I think it was Habano, but the wrapper was so fragile on that thing. Hmm. Like a, a bottle, I, you said? Yeah. Oh. I maybe. Might have been a looked a little lighter, but mm. it was good. Anyway, I lost my train of thought. I was gonna say something, but should have got Conor McGregor on here. He said next year. Oh, he couldn't okay. make it this year. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. He said we'd have to record it like a few weeks before St. Patrick's Day. Makes sense. You know, he's a busy guy. Yeah. He's got like a... We should have hit him up for some proper 12. True. Well, I was just going to say, he's got like proper 12 tours and like, you know, going to different bars and stuff. You know, since he hasn't... When's the last time he fought? When's the last time you've seen anything from him? Last time uh, I heard anything of him, he was in a bar in Oviedo. <laughs> promoting his whiskey. <laughs> exactly oh, yeah, that's my right. point. Yeah, Super yeah. random. He didn't even promote it. He just showed up. Oviedo is one of those places where it's like a lot of people actually end up going. But because well, like, of UCF. That's true. Yeah. That's true. You know, UCF is one of the biggest universities in America. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Population wise, too. Like, what are they? Yeah, like 80,000 students. Are they that high now? Yeah, but I think 60,000 are okay, in person. Yeah. Yeah, and then the other twenty are online. That's all crazy amount of person. Yeah, you would think that it'd be like way more online and then you know less in campus. But that's speaking crazy. of schools, are we ever going to charge tuition for Cigar University? Uh, maybe. You ever heard of a uh, that school WGU? No. It's like a it's like a fast paced college. Like people get their degrees in like two years. But is it accredited? Yeah, I've heard of it. Yeah. I mean, you could do that at UCF. You could, you could do like, a, a, was it six or eight week courses? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like self-paced courses. And as soon as you finish one, you move on to another oh, one. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. well, was... But if you leave it, those those credits go away. They don't count as anything. Dang. That's rough. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. I think about doing it? No. Okay. <laughs> School? No. I mean, it's super cheap too. I think it's like um, five thousand, five or six thousand to finish it. Oh, for the whole thing? Yeah, that's not bad at all. Low overhead? Yeah, I think mine was like six grand a year. Yeah. Yeah. So in theory, if we paid less but did more schoolwork faster, we could have graduated in like less than a year instead of four years. Two years. Two years. Oh, well, I mean, however, it's still I, faster. I mean, however fast. <laughs> yeah. Some people will finish a course in like two weeks. Yeah. Because you can test that. You you can also test out of a course. I mean, we have these, cer- all these certifications you can get online for yeah. like 50 bucks or whatever. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah that doesn't really mean much though. But I'm saying that's kind of where like school might be heading. Yeah, that's where it should. You get to learn specifically what you want to do. So you learn more instead of diverting all your knowledge to, you know, useless things like math and science. <laughs> Which have well, been so skewed anyway. Even even when you graduate, like you still need to take certification courses. You know, which these courses range from anywhere three hundred dollars to twelve hundred dollars, whatever. Is this because you didn't learn anything in actual college that you had to take more classes in order to actually learn what you're doing? That answers my question. <laughs> Maybe isn't that what summer school is for? <laughs> <laughs> That's when you get in trouble. Well, it's more to like like for specialized stuff. I mean, you know, you could take like Linux Plus, where like it certifies you know a decent amount of knowledge in Linux, um, or you could get like a an administrator cert or VMware. Like, there's a bunch of different certs that like a position may require, but usually they'll pay for it. Like, if you went to school for four years, then they'll pay for you to do it usually. But if you didn't and you got the job anyway, like. You know, you either had those certs already or 
you know, you got to get them within like a six month span. So for Cigar University, we need like Cigar Plus, Cigar Plus Plus, Cigar Plus Plus Plus. What does that even mean, though? It's like they're Security Plus. (laughs) 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 Wouldn't this just be like a Cigar Sommelier class? We should do like a blend your own cigar box with like a couple different leaves in there. Like talk about like how to taste them, things like that. That'd be cool. That'd be I think cool, like, there's actually box. yeah. Uh, I would um, actually buy that. Like if you sold like a if we sold like a build your own base box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you actually roll it, and you get a discount if I like actually like film themselves rolling a base and then put it on like long, you know online. Oh, that's smart. You know. So would you get a, <clears throat> a discount for next time? Well, yeah. I mean, ideally, or like a rebate. Because they actually publish the content. You yeah. you get a discount on the cigars, like if you want to like like on the basic cigars. Mm, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, yeah. Just that an idea. Sense. Just throwing out a little idea. Yeah, just a little one. Cigar University. Buy the cigar, guys. Somebody's gonna take that cigars daily. Don't you fucking think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I think Cigar University already is a thing. I just don't know the details about it. Oh, I was talking about my. Cigar box idea thing. Oh. Well, I was going to say, like, you know, Agonorsa Leaf does their whole, like, tasting the leaves sort of thing. That's where I got I guess, that idea. Um, JC Newman is doing that, too, and I think they're doing it for consumers, like, to mm. purchase or whatever. So, yeah, I mean, that would be one step ahead or one step further. Get everything you need, filler, binder, wrapper. Yeah, have, it. have it pre-cut so they don't have to cut it. Yeah. Different, different levels. You want a pre-cut? You want the full pre-rolled, thing? Pre-rolled, pre Pre-rolled. Yeah. <laughs> we do sell pre-rolled cigars, guys. <laughs> Basiscigar.com. We have a pre-rolled blend that you can buy. <laughs> okay. Do-it-yourself pre-rolled kit. <laughs> okay. So there's actually a Tobacconist University, TU, is an independent academic institution that educates, certifies, and promotes retail and tobacco. So, yeah. Well, maybe we'll see if we could accredit them this way. There's some sort of accreditation. We well, should I mean, just try yeah. to get UCF to let us do a class. <laughs> it's a public university, so maybe Rollins. Mm, uh, true. That would make sense too. How many credits would they get? Like what? Just one? Like as a lab class? I think it should be a part of the business school, and then we say, like, listen, you're going into business. What do businessmen do? They smoke cigars. Big business CEOs, executives go to the cigar lounge. That's where you meet all the big business people. See, I think you could do both. I think you could do a lab and you could do an in-person class. So three credits and the lab is just one credit? Yeah, lab will be one or two, you know. This way it's like, hey, your your class, you learn about everything and then your lab... It's just showing... It's, yeah. <laughs> well, it's showing them how to roll a cigar. It's showing them the different blends, you know. <clears throat> well, I mean, think about it. The business degree in itself is mainly BS anyway. Why not just throw a cigar course in there? It's probably going to teach you more than most of the classes anyway. Exactly. Thank I you. I mean, it is a BS. It's a bachelor's in science. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We can make it a BCS. Bachelor of Cigar Science. Facts. I mean, Gary's thinking real hard about this. Anything is possible. I'm trying to think of the lab. Like, one lab would be rolling. One lab would be smoking. So, the lab would be... Like experiencing the leaves. So you could do like, you know, smoking each individual leaf, like, you know, kind of like what Agonorsa leaf does. And then you could do, yeah, like the rolling, bunching, binding, and then the rolling, and then the mold. Come back in two weeks and then, or come back next week for the lab, and then your cigars will be ready. Yeah. And we could have like golf labs, right? Mm. Where we go golfing, we show the difference in smoking inside versus outside. Oh. Then we can have, you know, uh, North Carolina lab where it's like we go to North Carolina in the cold and we're like, hey, mm, listen, yeah, yeah. this changes the flavor of the cigar. It changes wow. how you smoke it. Oh, yeah, facts, yeah. facts. Good point. And then you can do a long ash lab. Yeah, long ash, yeah. Learn about how to maintain the construction on your cigar. Mm. What about other things like uh, build your own humidor? You start at the very first lab. It has to work. Or you fail. <laughs> or you fail. Yeah, because yeah. You, your scars will Would go bad. Would this be like a part of uh, woodworking? Potentially. Hmm. Yeah, and, and you'd be like a woodworking elective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then we could do like a networking. The, the final exam is they have to smoke a woody. 
Whoever lasts the longest gets an A. <laughs> Whoever quits first gets an F. <laughs> you do it by like how many hours? So if you make it, let's say it average is eight hours. If you smoke it in one hour, you get an A plus. If you smoke it in two, you get an A minus. Let's say okay. Let's say ten hours. Let's just say ten hours is the average, and then you go up by percentage. So if you go one hour, that's a ten percent grade. Two hours is twenty percent. In order to pass, you got to get to at least. What, I guess college 70%? Uh, yeah. 60 or 70. I mean, it's it, it's an elective. We'll, we'll say 60%. You so, get a D. So yeah. UCF. And you get an, an automatic F. A. That's a D. Well, it depends, but yeah, it's a D. At UCF, they have um, senior design projects where you have like a team of like four people. I'm pretty sure you did this. And I designed a rocket. But instead of engineering for the business side, if you design your own brand label for cigar... Mm. by the end of the cigar quarter cigar marketing yeah cigar marketing uh, branding this guy yes thank you everything dude. but the actual completed project at the end you don't have to sell it you can sell it but that would require licensing so like that but you have to have a brand you built out would be actually be very interesting didn't corona start with a college project as a college project? supposedly yeah it was like a college like a capstone yeah yeah we would be the second university to teach you how to actually start a business in real time I won't mention the first one. That's a big stem. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. A little, little twig, you know. It's like a fucking tree. You probably smoke that thing. That's an. <laughs> That's smoking the stem instead of smoking the leaf. Probably drawing way better now. That boy's blowing O's. How's my cigar tasting? Blow no. No. How's my cigar tasting? Is it tasting pretty good? Blows. Yeah, this tastes pretty good. I blew, I blew a little one on. Like. Although I just got like a huge hit of like cocoa. Ooh, you unlocked new flavor. Oh, that's another thing too. Like picking up on the flavor, yeah, notes, flavor notes, the yeah. science of flavor notes. I was going to ask you about that. If you like, uh, if you like hid cigars in the lab, you know, like a candela. Maybe that's too obvious. Hid, hid cigars? Yeah, like you just like uh, we actually, like we did this on like episode four. No, no, not hit, well. Like it's just like un- in a bag. Oh, you blind taste them. test. Yeah, blind taste test, something like that. Do you really know your stuff? Like, oh, we should do that. That'd be a good idea. Do for that video. Be, like the first lab of the university. Do what? In the very last class of the university. Blindfold. Oh, smoke a cigar, and you gotta say if it's you know you, you have parameters. You we have to, talked about this. Yeah, Candela, Habano, yeah. Connecticut, and Maduro. Yeah, if you, if you throw a Candela in there, you have to blindfold yourself because you know. Yeah, you have to blindfold yourself for all of them, anyways, because you can just kind of. Not tell. Jared. We can just. <laughs> Jerry could go without the blindfold. <laughs> Even with the green one. <laughs> no, but yeah, that's, yeah, exactly. So you have, we could use 1102 house blends, for example. Do uh, Maduro, Habano, Connecticut. That's probably too easy. So maybe we could do like, okay, that would be the first level. You do like Habano, Connecticut, Maduro, those different ones. Then the next step would be like Habano, Corojo, Criollo. Like those uh, are all very similar. Yeah, yeah, that'd be yeah. harder. Broadly versus San Andreas. Yeah, stuff like that. Exactly. Yeah. Different stages. Pennsylvania, Connecticut versus... Ooh. Pennsylvania Broadly versus Connecticut Broadleaf. <laughs> we'll pretend you meant to say that. No. Yo, you cut the U.S. and the United... If, whoa, whoa, whoa. Can't speak. You cut the United States in half. East to west. Who would win? That's so easy, bro. East. 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 What you got think? Florida. That's all you need. Oh, but they have Texas. Well, they'd have well, half of yeah. Texas. Oh, yeah. And it's yeah. not even the good half. I don't know, man, but they got all those. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> but the majority of the population in the United States resides on the East Coast, so you'd win by default. That's not true. Not necessarily. That is. Well, Florida's the second biggest state. And you already have half Texas and you have New York. So no, I'm not, I'm not disagreeing. The, you're right. The majority of the population is on the East Side. But, um, you know, just because you have the majority of the population doesn't mean that you're going to win. Uh, yeah. Skanderbeg, 800 to whatever, like, what were the odds? I'm just saying, Millions? if you, I don't know. you have most of, the, most of the people, most of the gun states, so you won. I mean, the problem with the West Coast is the three most West states suck anyway. So, like, what do they mean? They have no and that's guns. where most of the population but is. That's what I'm saying. So those aren't gun states, I believe. So No, of course not. 
hand to hand combat. It'd it'd still be the East. Yeah, I saw someone on TikTok said that the West would win. And I saw that like, too. And was like, "What? No." Yeah. Well, you got us. You got Alabama. You got population as an issue. Geography is also an issue because there's just a whole mountain range I do in wanna, between the West. I do want to point out East Coast got all of the military defense sites, so you know. <laughs> True. Yeah, you gotta take that. You can't put that into account. Just like people. You know, why can't you put it into account? It's just like, well, you mean you said you're saying just citizens? Yeah. Okay. But if you look at it like that, like I'm sure, like the like, there's more nuclear bombs like in the middle of nowhere. You know, I guess that would be West Coast too. <laughs> oh yeah, we're fucked. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, but I mean, we, you know, one nuke on Yellowstone. I mean, the whole West Coast is done. <laughs> I think also, we'd be done too. No, I, actually, if you look at the map, I think Florida is, like, good, most of Florida, and then most of, like, Maine, New York, Delaware, whatever. I just realized you changed your name tag. I did. What does it say now on the bus? Yeah. There you go. That makes more sense. <laughs> but, yeah, East Coast would definitely sweep the West Coast. No problem. North and south. 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 Well, North already won once. <laughs> They're one and oh. Rematch. <laughs> oh, 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 for pause, different pause, reasons. Pause. For different reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Just for bragging rights. <laughs> I think um I think you'd have to go to the south. <laughs> All right. I, was, I was playing this uh guy from the UK on chess or from the British or whatever. And from British? Whatever. <laughs> From Britain, Great Britain, whatever. So, uh. Please tell me you won. So I blundered and I lost the rook. And he was like, You dumb American, you're gonna lose, stupid American. And, anyways, before I checkmated him, I was like, So, yeah, I'll beat you like we did the Revolutionary War. <laughs> Amazing. Did you add him as a friend afterwards? No. Nah. <laughs> did you send him pictures? No. Nah. Dang. So you say you should have took like some tea and just dumped it in the sink. <laughs> what's your like win loss ratio or what's your total wins on that app uh i don't know i mean my my score right now is like 980 what's your kd bro i probably probably, probably beat like three people to loss that's pretty good it just depends really you know it's not a negative two losses you know let's talk yeah. about this though the uk what is going on over there with their Geography. You got the UK, the United Kingdom, you got England, you got Ireland. Are they different? And you got North Ireland. Is England and the UK different? Yes. So the UK is a country made up of countries. Okay. The United Kingdom is made up of England, Ireland, and North Ireland. And I think like Wales or something. No. And they're all within like two hours of each other. <laughs> Probably less. Yeah. So the UK is a country made up of like three or four different countries. Isn't it kind of crazy that our states are bigger than like a lot of the countries over there? Yes. Yeah. And I love, I love when Europeans come down and they like fly into Miami and they're like, oh yeah, we're going to drive up to New York tomorrow. We're going to go visit California the next day. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. How are you going to do all that? Like, oh, we're just going to drive. Yeah. Florida is like, bigger than your country. Yeah. You drive to Orlando from Miami. It's four hours. You drive to yeah. New York, and they complain hours. about driving to France. Yeah, I mean, I've seen like numerous TikToks where, you know, there, someone was like, "Oh, I was in so and so, you know, it's right next to where you are," and they're like, "Right next to? That's like an hour and a half away." And he's like, "Yeah, that's right next to." <laughs> Speaking of TikTok, this conversation is coming back, the TikTok ban. Yeah, yeah, it's not really a ban. It, they they would just have to sell it. Well. If they don't sell it, then it would be a ban. Yeah, but they're going to sell it. They're not going to give away all that all that cash. It is is it really way. a nationality thing? Or could they just have like a... I mean, I think they already have it now. They only have a foreign entity in the United States. But he's from Singapore. I know, but you can... But so they claim that the Chinese, the Chinese owns a big percentage of TikTok. Isn't that true, though? Yes. ByteDance owns TikTok. Right, so that's what they're talking about. They would have to sell their portion to the United States. 
Yeah. To be honest, I kind of don't see anything wrong with that because, you know, if someone from the U.S., like we'll use Disney as an example, opens up something in China, right? China has to have 51% of whatever they open. Mm -hmm. Like when Disney World opened up over there, um, you know, they had to give away 51% of their business to China. So, so with your example, they by dance would still own 40 49%. Nine percent. No, well, they have to give the whole thing. I think. <clears throat> yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, oh, they would probably oh, just oh. separate the companies. So. The well, US. originally they were saying like, okay, there's going to be a U.S. entity that's separate from. Like, Doesn't Oracle the own part of it? Original entity. <clears throat> I don't think Oracle. so. Oracle. I'm pretty sure Oracle was in talks of buying it when this first round was going on. I don't know. I don't Maybe. know if that went through. I mean, I could see them buying it. Oracle like runs the industry. Yeah. Couldn't tell you. My concern is. Oh, Oracle is taking over US data storage in 2022. That happened. They took over what? You mean as a leader? Their data storage, yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah, but there's still like ways in. I mean, <clears throat> you could have. You know, I could own data storage and they have to be able to access it. You know what I mean? So yeah. just because I'm owning it. I don't think that TikTok's going to end up going anywhere. But just in case, if you're following us on TikTok, make sure you follow us on all our other social media platforms. Just as a precaution. At the Cigar Guys, Twitter, Instagram, all that jazz. LinkedIn, for you business people. We want to know every time you get promoted, every time you get a raise. Congratulations. Awesome. Haven't talked in a while. <laughs> I like didn't pops out sometimes. No, I was gonna say I didn't. When Alex start, first started posting on LinkedIn, I was kind of like, you know, it, you know, the traction slowly building up, and we have all the automated articles stuff like that. You know, it's pretty, it's pretty happening. You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Link, LinkedIn is popping. LinkedIn is popping. Mark occasionally so, messages me on LinkedIn. What's crazy is. <laughs> For our website, LinkedIn is our second best referral source. Can you guess what the first one is? Google. I was looking at Jared for a reason because I talked to you about this. <laughs> I thought it was me going from my personal website <laughs> to... <laughs> no, so yeah, the Google search engine, the search results is our number one uh, referral source right now. Shout, Shout out my boy Google. Yo, give Jared his job back. <laughs> <laughs> Wrongfully terminated. My one year is up, actually, so. Oh, is it, like, possible to go back? Yeah. Oh. Without having to pay him back. You the what? Oh, without having to pay. You got to sign something. When oh. You... Yeah, shout out to Google, though. Better than Yelp. You know, I know Yelp's not a search engine, but with those reviews and stuff. What about Bing, bro? Yo, Bing could Bing their way out of here, dude. Never heard of them. Imagine using Bing. Yo. It's like Yahoo News, bro. Yahoo News is the biggest contradicting term ever. You know what Yahoo's good for? The only thing they're good for? What? Their finance app. Yeah, it's pretty good. Their stock app is like really good. Yeah. Actually, their their news used to be really good too. I think what happens is like when a company gets so big and there's so much competition out there, you end up kind of gravitating towards one specific thing that you're really good at. Mm. Well, Yahoo... It used to be the news. They used to be like known for the news, right? But not really anymore. No, nah, yeah, they, they messed. It's that like up. you open up. I don't know. Some people have Yahoo as their like first page when you open up whatever, and you see the news articles, and you go, "Okay, Google." Well, they used to have their own live news network. When I was working at Yahoo, they still had that. I worked at Yahoo before they sold. So, yeah. And their esports app is pretty big too. Let me get the rest of the Havana Club. You love this rum. Only one I'll be drinking. Besides that one uh, that Willie gave us to pair with the uh, yeah. La Aurora, that was really good. That was really good, yeah. Yeah. Similar to a... I would say that's like the bourbon of rums, if that makes sense. So Might as well just kill it. it looks, yeah, I guess. Sorry. Man, I was getting drunk today. I thought that was a lot less than what it actually was, but that's okay. Yeah. I but, bought uh, it. I imported it. I smuggled this in. You didn't catch me. 
freaking TSA. Look at this. This is this is contraband. I don't think it is. I think you're allowed to bring it in. Technically, no. I looked it up. He yeah. said, Did you bring back any liquor? I said, whiskey. But you can't bring back rum? No, this is Cuban rum. It's like bringing back Cuban cigars. You're technically not allowed to bring back Cuban cigars. As of right now, the rules keep changing. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you could buy Cuban cigars at a duty free store. Yeah. To bring back. Yes. I don't know. Dude, the laws keep changing. All I, all I gotta say is, you're not gonna stop me from bringing back my Cuban rum, and you're not gonna stop me from bringing back my Cuban cigars. I'm an American, I can do whatever I want, and my number one enemy right now is the Biden administration. Trump 2024. <laughs> Listen. Much? No. I mean, no. I mean, he's not RK. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm pro pro American the industrial baby. military complex. So you know, well, yeah. <laughs> of course you are. You saw uh, RFK Junior might be having Aaron Rodgers as his VP. Let's talk about this. I saw that too. That wouldn't make any sense. Aaron Rodgers, and then the other guy was the former, I think, WWE wrestler. I forget his name. Those that, are the two big names. There's no way. That's gotta be misinformation, bro. It's that's gotta, gotta be. be that, that's gotta be them delegitimizing RFK. It's gotta be. Unless, I mean, if you really did that, that wouldn't make any sense. Because I think, like, people already view RFK. Not some people view RFK as a illegitimate candidate, not a serious candidate, and that's just mainstream spin. So yeah. it's like it would be. It, it wouldn't make sense for him to do that. Yeah, he, he's already on the polls for a lot of uh, swing states. He got Georgia. Uh, he got a couple other states, too. In a general election? And he's going to be on the ballot, yeah. So he would, So the polls are saying he would win a general no, election? No, no, no. I'm saying that he's on, he's on the ballot now. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't see why not. Mickey Mouse gets votes every election. In a few more years, I'll be on the ballot. <laughs> if, I, if I had, like, three different IDs, I'd put your name in on one of them. You go to California, you don't need any ID. There you go. Go vote every day. Didn't they shut down, um, like, I think what California tried making, like, non citizens, like, able to vote? And, the, like, courts shut it down right away. They're yeah. like, no, no, no. They could vote in city elections or state elections, but not in federal elections. Yeah. Wasn't it some Chinese lady that was doing that? I think so, yeah. She, I'm pretty sure she wasn't even a U.S. citizen. She's like Chinese, yeah. and she's on like the committee for whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, and she tried pushing for that. I mean, you gotta be careful, you know. Chinese spies and you know Russian spies, like still so thing. You could be a full born, you know, U.S. citizen and be a spy. Like I read an article that happened last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I read an article yeah. in uh, in Washington State at one of our army bases. It was a Chinese guy that. He was born and raised here, joined the military, and he got caught being a spy. Yeah. You know, I mean, they play the long game. It's like, it was like, was it called like a sleeper? You're talking about sleeper cells? I mean, that's like more of a terrorist thing, but. Sleeper agent, I think. Sleeper, sleeper agent, agent, agent yeah. yeah. But like, yeah, a sleeper well, agent was always like rumored to be like, oh, you know, the crow, you know, speaks at midnight. Yeah, that's like, not what it is. <laughs> yeah. There, there was that Russian like lady too. Man. Uh, Manchurian candidate. There was that Russian redhead lady that was like bunch of pictures with the NRA, and she was like a Russian spy, or like the Winter Soldier. Yeah. December car. Oh. I mean, Manchurian candidate. There's, there's a movie on that. Yeah, the exact same thing. Would you get in trouble if you managed to somehow undercover a spy? And like you sit as and arrest them. Rob, well, well, what would you be arresting them for? Being a spy, like you just fucking arrest them, take them to the FBI. I, I think you have to report it. Because I think like it's is it is it technic like hold on, like if I make a citizen's arrest on Jared for jaywalking, like he committed a crime of jaywalking. Yeah, but you wouldn't be able to do that because that's not an arrestable crime anyway. Okay, so if I made an arrest for you for 
hit and run. That's an arrestable crime. If you held me, yeah, I think you like hold me down. Yeah. Okay. Can you? So, is an arrest? Can you? Is it the same thing for like being a spy? Like, what defines being a spy as a crime? Is that like a federal crime? Is it a state crime? Like, it's federal. How does crime. that work? Right. Like, so, let's say you go to your buddy Yovokovich's house, right? <laughs> <laughs> why is his name not john <laughs> <laughs> and you see a bunch of spy shit you're like i'm reporting this guy yeah so you're reporting him though you're not like detaining him <laughs> <laughs> i'm sure back at the cold war sir you could. i'm gonna be placing you under arrest it's like what who are you i'm a, I'm a u.s citizen i'm exper- <laughs> <laughs> i have my rights that i am taken away from you i'm sure that happened in the cold war like like during the cold war Listen, man, we'll, hey, any spies, bro, we'll ship them off to Leavenworth. A federal prison over there. Yeah. Let's or Guantanamo. Nah, we reserve that for, like, Obama and Biden and Clinton. What was it? The 50s were, like, if they even suspected you were a communist, mm-hmm. <laughs> like you could, they could just basically, like, run you out of town. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, if you suspected someone was a communist, it was like the witch trials. Well, that's like, what say, yeah. It's like it was fair game. You know? The problem with today is like <laughs> yeah, people report- are getting <laughs> people are getting falsely accused of crimes just because people don't like them. You, you report Jared as communist. <laughs> you just, that's like, what? Well, it's a prank, bro. Chill. <laughs> it's just a prank. <laughs> it's a social experiment. <laughs> people are getting falsely accused for a lot of things. So it's like you know, like the, the rape thing is huge. Girl comes out. This guy's got money. Accuse him of rape. Ruin his life. Oh, did you see that one girl that um, it was with like a the football player? Football player, right? Yeah. yeah. Like she had DMs. Which one, bro? Well, yeah. <laughs> no, no, this is a big one. No, this is a big one. She, she had she had DMs with like her best friend, and like you know, her best friend was like, like, oh, he's got that bag. You know, he's got money. This and that. You know, and then the girl was like, yeah, I gotta find a way to make him like choke me. This and that. Oh my god. And then bro. um. Then he ended up getting arrested, like because she called rape, yeah, and then the course. friend felt bad and she released like the, um, the her, DMs, the, the, DMs, the screenshots, and like the news went and like asked her questions, like, like oh well, then why did you say this? Why did you say this? Why did you say you want that money? You got to find a way to get that money, like this and then like she just like she had to have been prepped on it because she was deferring you know like a politician you could easily argue like i was joking like i didn't think she'd actually do it so is he is he safe well now? well they weren't worried about the friend they were just worried about her because the friend oh, you're talking they were cute they were talking about they were asking questions to the the actual girl okay, gotcha. yeah, yeah 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 i was gonna say yeah cause in, the way i view it is the friend's like oh yeah get that bag well uh, and yeah then which she took is it fine. seriously yeah yeah so and is then, he exonerated but, now or we're still going on i don't know i think well yeah he is yeah, i think he went back happens. he went back to the nfl draft i think and but cool. you know they took his like life away for you know what yeah. two years three years <clears throat> and then they expected to go back to normal so if know, he, not gonna happen. let's say he let's say his sentence was going to be like four years prison or whatever i think her sentence should be the equivalent of what his would have been I think the rule should be if you falsely accuse someone of a crime and they go to jail for X, or they're supposed to go to prison for X amount of years, you should get that same punishment. Yeah, I yeah. guess the whole thing behind that, though, is that they don't want people to not report it because they're afraid that. They well, might, again, then, then, it, it then it comes down to the unreasonable doubt thing. So then it becomes, OK, well, if we can't prove either side without reasonable doubt then nothing happens because we know in a criminal case it's like you, the prosecution has to prove it unequivocally 100 percent, and if they don't the guy walks free so it should be the same thing there was a guy that uh shot his wife recently because like she <laughs> wait hold on look at that show that's a sharpie that is a sharpie on my cigar I'm take a picture you see that. that that's legitimately like sharpie yeah I've had, look at that. I've had two hairs on my cigars. So now I, you have a Sharpie on yours. So I took off the wrapper on the cigar for the viewers or the listeners. And there's a Sharpie mark on my cigar. Show this to the camera. And Mark, can you please stand up and show the camera that you don't have any Sharpies on you right now? 
the, the camera was on him. I mean, that's crazy. Dang, you really did crack that glass. I didn't even see that. You thought I was joking? <clears throat> no, I saw I saw the nick. I didn't see that there was oh, a yeah. like, freaking crack. It was here when I got here, so it must have happened when you know someone was cleaning it. I will say though, since I took out the wrapper, this cigar tastes way better. Joe's gonna be a great president, blaming other people right away. Is it was it Russia. <laughs> Is it bad to smoke Sharpie? I think that's the mark that tells you to stop smoking. It looks like the mark on where the wrapper should be, but I don't know why they would put that on the. That's th- crazy. I'm. I mean. I would say I've never seen that, but I also don't take the wrapper off every single cigar I smoke. So yeah, that's wild. That's so crazy. Can I'm, you die from smoking Sharpie? Chat GBT. I mean, you can get high from sniffing it. So, huh? I should email the company. We could just find out. I'm gonna email them. <laughs> He's checking his cigar. <laughs> no, I'm curious. What if it's common practice? I don't think it's common practice. That would be insane. I've nope. I've had plenty of cigars that have unraveled or the wrapper has been taken off. I've never seen that. I've never seen that. It's wild. That is wild. Yeah, I don't know, man. Chat, are you seeing this? Using a Sharpie marker on a cigar, which may then come in contact with the mouth, is not recommended. So Is that ChatGPT? Yeah, this is toxic, inhaled chemicals, ingested, too many amounts, bad for you. I just don't want to put my full name on this. Do you know which Sharpie was used? It was an edible Sharpie. It was a black one. I don't want to use my main email either. Why the nah, fuck it? Yeah. <clears throat> you are a paying customer. You have rights. As an American consumer. If it's a Magnum, King Size, or Furniture Touch-Up Sharpie, it may contain xylene, which is a solvent, which is that hazardous. Just, that just sounds bad. Yeah, but yeah, did, did you guys see that that uh, that case where the guy shot his wife, and like I don't know if she died or, but uh, he pled guilty to it, but he pled like um, insanity, no, like aggression or something, because there's like a certain law where you could claim that you weren't in the right headspace because you were, you know, angry about something. So there is like a law about if you walk in on like your wife cheating on you and in the moment you're like really really upset it's like lovers quarrel or something yeah yeah and then you react something like that yeah i think so yeah so so that's what happened and the guy's like there's basically alex every time before the podcast when he's angry at us <laughs> <laughs> but he ended up your honor i came in they were 30 minutes late <laughs> they were fucking around but he ended up only getting six years and then like you know possible early release in three years you know, and like people are like, oh, well, that's messed up, this and that. And they're like, the jury, who was the jury? And it was an all female jury that agreed that, like, yeah, you know, we understand that he shot his wife, he's guilty for that. But, you know, we also understand that, you know, why he would do that in the, in the moment. Mm, you know wow. what I mean? Yeah, it was pretty crazy. I think the. I personally don't think that that should be like a defense. Well, it's not, it's not defense. You literally... Yeah, I know, but it got dropped down like a second degree murder. No, I think it was still first degree. I just, it got dropped to second degree, and he had like he has like 10 years. But did they just go... like They brought back the punishment, or like it, the punishment wasn't as harsh as it was going to be? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. So he got, he got 10 years, but uh, possibility of parole after five years. Okay. That seems, that seems a little too light, to be honest. I, I agree that... I mean, if you wrongfully kill someone that's pretty bad regardless of the circumstances yeah that's what i'm saying you know unless it's like uh well no i mean yeah wrongfully i'm talking about wrongfully like they didn't deserve it um excluding self-defense castle doctrine all that stuff Uh, yeah so anyway cigars are good Mine was good until I took off the wrapper. Oh. <laughs> Mine was bad until I took off the wrapper. <laughs> this Alec Bradley was good. Actually, yeah, it was really good. Um, I'd smoke it again. Jared? Uh, 
it's Candela. Enough said. Yeah, I mean, it's a once a year thing. You didn't wear a green shirt, though. Nice try. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to wrap it up. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of The Cigar Guys, and we'll see you next time. Take care. Sure. Were we recording this whole time? No. Were we? We hope you enjoyed this episode of The Cigar Guys podcast. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the latest episodes. Looking for short-form content? Check out all our social media accounts in the description below. What? That's not green. green. Are you tired? I don't, I can't, do I ask you? I don't know the color. So you are actually colorblind. (laughs) I thought you knew to put on a green shirt. (laughs) That's a good point. It's a label. I bought a label. Oh, that's actually Wait, funny. but how do you hang them back up? Um, <laughs> like color-coded. <laughs> oh, so if it matches. I can't believe you're that color boy. <laughs> Michelle used to do my laundry, then actually put it in color and group it by color. So it was like really easy for me to... <laughs> you so can't do that he, anymore? He would just go, he would go, <laughs> red, One, two, three, orange. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. A villager. T-double-A exclusive. That's how I'm going to say it. T double A. Because it's T A A. This is going to suck. Oh, out. okay. It smells terrible. Yeah, this mine smells bad too. The leaf smells like shit. That was like the worst smelling cigar I've ever smelled. Oh, uh, of course. Something's so, wrong with your phone. Whose phone? You. Watching too much porn on it, bro. I was like, here's another there Android joke, but it's not me this time. Wait for it. Wait. Pause. Porn on this crash. Always something. Please follow our report. I might as well just start smoking this. It's still fucking big. <laughs> you gonna pass that around a little bit? <laughs> Can you relax? My chair See, someone needs to be recording this. I am. I feel like we should each buy our own lounge chairs and change our setup. Yeah, right, go back to the connection. To the connection? I'm not buying shit. No, I say each buy our own. Again, I'm not buying shit. Lounge shares. You you guys can split one. Seven three dot two. It's the same thing. You guys can go three way on my chair. Oh. What? Is... Can you um? God, Jerry, what the fuck is on your phone? Can you turn it ever? Oh. S- ever. This is s- my other phone. It's a trap phone. Can you turn it ever so slightly towards Mark? Oh, does it have a sweet tip? <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. I don't think it's supposed to. Where's that? Where did I put that? It's a candela, bro. No, this definitely has a sweet tip. Okay. Oh, maybe not. Are we recording? Are we recording? We are Testing. We, we are recording. Can you get out of my camera? Oh, look at my hat, look at my hat. All testing, right. testing, one, two, test, three. Test, 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 you test, are test, watching test, the Cigar test, Guys test, TV test, on test, one, test, two, test, test, three, four, test, five. Test, test, one, test, test, two, test, test, three, test, four, test, five. Test. Welcome back to the Cigar Guys. And today we will be... We're not, we're not using this. All right. <laughs> mm.